Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from MindfulMarketplace.com and today we're going to look at how to use uh, Circle, the community software as a service platform, uh, to really emulate an, M, uh, an LMS, a learning manage or a learning management software system uh, or some sort of online uh, course community simply using Circle rather than using Circle in conjunction with something like a Teachable or a Podia or a Thinkific, etc. So what we're really aiming to do here is to incorporate the LMS elements or the online teaching social network elements within the actual Circle itself so you don't need to use uh, an external Teachable or Podia or Thinkific or that sort of, um, you know, supplemental school, a Kajabi, etc., to actually engage your audience with courses within your community. Now, I will say this I don't know necessarily that this is ready. Um, I don't know necessarily that I would recommend doing it this way from jump. I think you have to hack a lot of pieces together and I think it can be a little bit challenging to actually make it happen uh, to deliver really world-class course elements to your students if you're just using Circle. But the, the advantage is that you know, the social element, the interactivity, the audience interactivity, the ability to ask questions, to engage with each other, to engage with the teacher or teachers, really adds such a net positive net gain to any course that doing it this way may actually give you a lot of, um, you know, a lot more traction than a more static course could. All right, so a couple other quick disclaimers. One, uh, the code I'm about to show you, I actually got from somebody else uh, on the actual uh, Circle private community. So the first example I'm going to give you is not mine. Uh, I want that to be clear, uh, but I'm just going to show it to you because I'm using it and I think that it's really helpful. All right, so here is an example uh, topic within our Launch It uh, course, and this is something that I'm delivering on Podia, but yet I'm incorporating a... Um, you know, a community element on Circle, which is what it's designed to do. So here, here you'll see a simple topic. And what I did is uh, it initially was embedded the PDF that's associated with this video on our Launch It course that's delivered on Podia within Circle. So this way the folks who uh, join when this is available to the public will be able to interact with each other, with me, you know, share examples, etc., etc., and still have access to this PDF, which I simply added using the uh, embed feature that's in the post editor. So let's go to edit the topic, and I'll show you a different way of considering how to incorporate the LMS-oriented um, features. All right, so one, if you're on the pro plan or above, I think it's the, it's the middle plan, the $79 a month plan, what you can do is, let's see if I can find, oh, it's right here, custom H HTML, and this actually adds a whole new set of options to customize your topics, and I'm going to take this code right here, which is going to give it a, it's going to give this lesson an LMS sort of like um, path. So it's going to have a, a button that will lead to the next lesson. And I'm just going to paste this in here. And this is the HTML that you change, obviously, for your own course community. So in this case, I took the content, the, the, the code snippet, that somebody else provided. This was not mine. I simply just copied what this other generous uh, circle member had shared with the group. And you're going to paste. And the, the only uh, issue with this that I'm not fixing for the demonstration here is the button is in French because the guy who uh, created this code snippet is doing his community in French, obviously. So I'm going to save this. And now this is going to have a path-like um, functionality. So when somebody is done the, 
this particular lesson, they can click on this to go to the next lesson. Now, in this case, just for the quick hack, I made the, the URL here uh, an external URL, right? But in your case, so it's CNN, which is, is my default sort of testing URL to make sure a button works. So as you can see, if I click on that, it actually goes to CNN. But what you would do, you can see that here. Again, I'm not at home today. I'm actually at my parents' house. Uh, my mom is having surgery today, so I'm actually recording this from my mom and dad's, um, you know, uh, living room in South Jersey. All right, so again, here is the button, and you would just edit this to be, um, you know, to, to, to point to the next lesson, right? So this would allow you to create, let's say, 10 lessons that follow a sequence like a traditional LMS does. Right, so lesson one would this button would say next lesson and would lead to lesson two. Lesson two would lead to lesson lesson three, and this really does emulate one of the more you know kind of expected conventions or functionality or features that a traditional LMS uh, would offer. Right, and it leads your audience through a sequential, stepwise you know, kind of experience where they can finish the seven lessons, the five lessons, the 12 lessons in an expected order. All right, let's go back up to edit topic. And I'm going to take that out this time, right? I'm going to take this out for the time being. And I'm going to show you what we're doing, which is incorporating our um, so I have other platforms that I use from Typeform. This is right here is um, uh, a LMS supplement for interacting with students with quizzes. Uh, you know, having readers or, or students share their um, you know answers and things like that. So this is an external uh, platform that I use that costs me, I think, something like $15 a month or something along those lines. But it really gives the my audience the ability to actually download PDFs, to ask questions within a private uh, community, to share answers, to interact with me in a very private way. So I'm going to show you how you would interact, how you'd incorporate something like this. You think about this like a type form, because this is analogous to a type form. So I'm going to go sh to share embed. I'm going to copy this code. I think I got it. I do, I think. We're going to go back to circle. And now I'm going to paste that little script here into the same box that I just had the before and after or the path, you know, buttons that let the French button, right, that led to the next path. So in this case, I want to skip that, but I want to incorporate this, um, you know, the, I want to embed an interactive element for my students that they can, let's see if I refresh this, my computer is really just acting a fool. I'm sorry about that. No, that's not what I want to do there. Let's refresh this and see if that works. It should. There it is. Okay, so here again is the video. Here's a PDF download. And here is, now I have to give this permission, but here is a form that is now embedded within, it's a workbook within this course that now allows my audience to interact with answers. Again, think of something like a type form. This is an analog to type form. All right, they can ask me a question, all these things now within circle, right? So you're not actually needing a teachable, a separate instance of a teachable to have this sort of course material where there's interactivity involved, et cetera, et cetera. You have a video, you have it above, you have a PDF here. So all these things are now fleshing this out in a way that does actually allow you to give your courses this really interactive flavor. All right, so let's do something else. Let's take another more robust 
uh, course platform that I also use. And again, I pay for these separately, so you do have to consider that. But um, you know, this gives me the ability of adding just an unlimited amount of content into a like a like, almost like an Evernote uh, board or a um, you know, it just it, I can add PDFs, videos like this one, YouTube links, links to other things, all this stuff within a private. Um, platform that I use already, right? So, and that really is as powerful as any, you know, kind of teachable or Thinkific or Podia, et cetera, et cetera, for delivering content in a very, you know, simple, streamlined way. So I'm going to go back again and let's edit this again. And now I'm actually, I want to, well, I'm going to take this out, just make it easy. Because again, I don't know, my internet connection is slow here, and I want to make sure it doesn't bog down this video. But I, I, you should be, in theory, able to add as much custom HTML as you want to that spot. So I could have all these different things, you know, in this post or in this lesson, right? So now we have, again, a video, we have that PDF. But now I also have a, another video, right, which is part of this board here. As you saw here, I have another, uh, blah, 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 I got another PDF here. All right, another download. And I could just stack this external board with all these supplemental materials that I require to deliver all the information that my students, my community needs to succeed. Again, all being delivered in a single lesson in a very beautiful way, right? So I mean, this is this is a downloadable video here. Actually, for those of you who are interested, this is actually a AI generated video uh, that we're using, um, you know, to to sort of do some introductions and video demonstrations. Uh, this is this is is a collect. Connect and convert. Complete. Let's cover the basic three-step process of our Done For You platform publishing service below. This three-step system makes collaborating on creating content, courses, classes, coaching, or... All right, that's a completely separate topic, but just so you know, this is completely script-driven AI uh, video, which is very cool. We're using a service called Synthesia, uh, which I've done some videos on if you want to see that. Uh, on YouTube. Very, very, very cool stuff that's really good for LMS-oriented content that you don't want to actually record yourself. All right, so all this is essentially accomplished by dint of the custom HTML tag or tab within the edit topic section on Circle. Um, you know, it's right here, and you can just continue, I believe, to add as much content as you want. Let's check that to see if that's true. Ugh, so fucking slow. I am sorry about that. All right, so let's... All right, let's just save this and see if that renders on this lesson, and it should, under that same custom HTML. Oh, there it is, right? So you can really add as much extra uh, content using that custom HTML t uh, tab as you want, in theory anyway, and really build out the LMS-oriented areas of or elements of your uh, circle of lessons. All right, so there you have it. That's really one early hack for doing this on circle. I know many folks in the circle community are looking to you know, just use this their platform as the primary LMS for their uh, content and community. And right now, we're going to be experimenting with this. I'm not sure that I want to give up some of the external LMS, um, you know, oriented platforms that we're using. But I can see in the very near future where this would be certainly the ideal way of delivering both content and community. Or, or actually content courses and community all under one umbrella and not having you know to pay for all of these you know multiple learning platforms that you know kind of don't do anything 
let me restate that some of these static course platforms that we're now using uh, you know, I can just tell that it's not really delivering a really ideal learning environment simply by dint of the fact that it has no community functionality. What Circle does really, really well is offer that community functionality to your community or to your audience, to your courses, to your classes, et cetera, et cetera. If you're interested in uh, building your own community on Circle, you can use our affiliate link. Uh, in the description box below. If you do sign up for Circle using uh, our Mindful Marketplace affiliate link, send me a note, hi at mindfulmarketplace.com, and I'll give you some extra free stuff that we're doing to hack our own community and to build our brand. Uh, and if you're interested in getting a consultation on building your content or community on Circle or any other platform, send me an email as well. Uh, I'll be doing some of those in November and December of 2020. Okie doke. I hope this has been helpful. And if you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. Thanks.